Hey guys, this is Jindo from US Cricket Store. Today we are live again. Um, the next week, I mean, it's it's being an overwhelming um, uh, work here. We have brands coming in every uh, week, so we'll be going live every week mostly. But uh, we are live again with a, a brand new shipment for uh, GM. As you can see behind me, it's uh, it's condensed with a lot of bats uh, on the beautiful couch that we have. It's on the floors. So we have re received a total of like 108 bats uh, just for this shipment and it's only a partial shipment. Uh, there would be another shipment coming in uh, soon from GM which would have more bats. But uh, for now we have like sizes uh, 4, 5, 6, uh, Harrow, Academy, uh, um, Short Handle obviously. And we have few player edition bats in our uh, that is sitting right there on the couch, which I'd be going through. We have the uh, original edition, limited edition, uh, 909s, 808s, signature, 606, 404s as well. Uh, so we have quite a few stock, uh, and it's it's you can see that pretty much behind me as well, uh, and on the floor right here. Um, so. What uh, what is GM right and what what is what do we know about GM and how GM is um, GM is was found a gun and more was found in uh, 1885 that's like they have they've been found like decades or maybe century ago actually uh, having so much of wealth of information from their end to produce quality cricket bats uh, international players across the globe uh, prefer GM to be their weapon of choice for going out to the cricket field and uh, that's just a small trailer of what uh, GM is being producing. In fact, I was watching the 1983 World Cup final. Uh, in fact, I was seeing some Indian players using GM bats uh, with for their uh, playing as well. So that's that speaks a lot about what uh, GM is. So what what are the benefits of having GM as uh, your bat, right? So a few things that you know they are one of the they are one of the companies that use the DXM technology. That they use the CNC machines to uh, produce or manufacture their bats. So you would have like a same quality bat uh, or a same shape. The profile shape would be consistent across the series for all the GM bats or across all the series that they have. Now that's one point. They have, uh, they have, they have machine or they factory prepare the bats that comes to you. That means you don't have to spend a lot of time in knocking them in. Uh, basically, it's already partially prepared. You'd have to still prepare it uh, to play it in into the uh, nets or something. But still, it's partially prepared. They come in with a free, uh, high quality scuff sheet. Now, not many companies actually provide that. All of the bats, you take any series bats, it will be provided with high quality scuff sheet. The same scuff sheet that we provide at US Record Store when we manually knock in the bats. They have the toe tech technology, which is basically taking care of your toes to prevent damage to your uh, to your bat. Another thing is that they have very thick handle, guys. They, their handles are known for being thick uh, and uh, very uh, pronouncedly oval in shape to give you better control for all those extra wagon shots. Now, what else? What else? We have to announce for this particular thing that we are the first store in US to actually have the two series that GM has announced for the 2021, that is Zelos 2, that's the first model, and the second one is Chroma. And that you can see, uh, so this is the Zelos 2 series, which is having the uh, beautiful lemon uh, color decals. And uh, right next to it is basically the Chroma series, which is having the chrome uh, stickers, which is uh, breathtaking in my opinion. Both of them has their own unique shapes, which we will be going through in the video. So what do we start with, uh, with respect to the unboxing is definitely the player edition bats. So we have uh, four player edition bats right now in stock and more are coming on the way. So I will start with the GM Eclipse uh, David Milan uh, player edition bats. So this is a wonderful, wonderful player edition bat which is having absolutely no concaving and having a very, very thick handle uh, in my opinion and it's a very oval feel at the bottom and tapers to a let, little skinnier on the top uh, of the handle and it is round shape at the handle and if you look at the profile shape guys this is absolutely beautiful profile having a nice tuck built toe going on and it's having a very pronounced uh, middle shape 
and it goes like a rocket uh, in that particular thing and if you take a look at the grains guys it's a grains galore you would have i mean someone who loves grains would actually fall in love with this bat at the first glance and you have the uh, david milan signature right here on the back of the bat as well the weight of this bat is only and only 2.8.2 uh, and it picks up even more lighter guys it's like a feather light feather light pickup and it's having a, a beautiful pickup and let's see the ping response on this uh, we'll start off with a, a old cricket ball i'm just i'm not doing anything just keeping it and it goes it's just nice nicely well balanced and super response we this is a brand new cricket ball phenomenal guys phenomenal so that was the david malan um, play edition bat so the only thing that you know that we feel uh, personally as what needs to be taken care about gm is that you know you have to be patient with gm so it it will take some bit of amount of time to just open up but once it opens up like this is a this would be a weapon of choice for any batsman that you would ever see for this particular uh, uh, for this particular bat for any bat for gm especially and one more thing that i want to emphasize particularly is that gm is one company where you would have a possibility of having hidden gems in the lower series as well so reach out to us we will actually hand pick for you if there are some hidden gems in our store anywhere for any bats any grades you would also get a beautiful opportunity to own one of the like you know hidden gems somewhere in between our uh, stock as well so that was the play edition bats of uh, david malan and the next one actually i almost uh, paid dibs on this one it's the uh, aiden markram uh, uh, play edition bat of uh, the under the noir series uh, of uh, gm and so again guys it's a very very full profile absolutely no concaving aiden markram signature on the back and look at the profile guys this is absolutely lovely so it has a like a slightly extended middle as compared to what uh, uh, the david malan series has it's a slightly extended middle like whatever you seeing with between my fingers basically the middle position i would say in my opinion and the grain structure guys again you have to admire this that you know it's really 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 nice and it's again factory prepared you still have to spend some time in knocking this in i'm not saying that it's straight away ready to go but you have to spend some time but it is indeed some to an extent factory prepared we'll see how it goes with a brand new cricket ball see guys i think the response on this is slightly better um than the uh david malan in my opinion yeah guys this you seeing this right i mean i hope you're seeing this yeah uh, it's basically flying off without much effort this is an old cricket ball and this is even lighter guys this is exactly dead on 28 uh, on the scale and it picks up even more lighter i think the noir has the um, very thicker handle and it's very pronouncedly oval if you see it's very uh, it's it's oval in this sense but if you take a look like this it's very thick right it's a very thick handle uh, it's thicker than the uh, eclipse in my opinion for that's for the noir and that was the aiden markram guys again i'm saying i said to deepak bhai probably i would pay dips on this one and <laughs> this i would probably buy it for myself but still it's available in the store as of now so that was the uh, okay so the next one is uh, actually no surprise but still uh, it's one of the most flamboyant players a loss to new balance but a gain to everyone in the world around the globe and at the same time a gain to gm it's none other than benjamin stokes guys it, this is the play edition for benjamin stokes ben stokes the most flamboyant all rounder i can say the best all rounder as of now in the current arena of international cricket this is something else uh, actually i personally own a uh, ben stokes player edition in the zeros model but this is a diamond series that they have and it's nothing different than that it it this the weight on this is 2.9.1 but the balance the feel the pick up wow it's uh, it's something different to behold and and the only way that you can believe that is only when you have your hands on this beauty that i have in my hands and take a look at the green structure again guys it's absolutely straight 
parallel even to each other and at the same time there's a signature Ben Stokes on the back of the bat as well. Again, very, very thick handle. It's thicker than David Milan. It's on the same lines as uh, uh, what I would say Aiden Markram, but it's on the thicker handle and it's very, very thick, pronouncedly thick. And again, the weight, guys, it's just 2.9.1 and I would not, I mean, would not go wrong with this one, I would say. So again, let's see the ping response on this. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's the lower part of the bat. The middle part. That was uh, slightly underwhelming, as if I would say, if I compare that to Aiden Markram. Uh, but uh, guys, player edition. I think it's on the par with David Milan, in my opinion. But uh, and the one thing I messed out: all the player edition bats. The edge size is around 41 to 42 mm or 43 mm on actually one of the next Ben Stokes one. And uh, the spine size is around 62 to 64 mm uh, on consistently. And again, let's take a look at the profile. It's how ben, what, what the Ben Stokes profile is. The edges are nicely boned in and the, the middle area or the sweet spot region would be around this part. And uh, this is not pronouncedly duck bill, but yeah, you can call it as duck bill toe as well so that was the ben stokes player edition we have one more ben stokes player edition but this has less a number of grains and it is indeed lighter as well this is only 2.8 on the scales and it still has the 43 mm edge and 62 mm spine on this one it also has a very very uh, thick handle and uh, it picks up even lighter guys it picks up like a two seven and a half or maybe 2.7 in my opinion. It's very, very light pickup. Uh, probably aided by uh, what I would say the duckbill toe and the thicker handle. Let's see how it goes performance wise. Uh, this, this, this is pinging much better than the other Ben Stokes one, frankly. Yes. Okay. So, Everyone would be knowing about the pickup index uh, that GM provides. Pickup index on the uh, the play Ben Stokes Player Edition is two, and uh, one on the Noir is one, and on the David Milan, I forgot, it, it's two. So that was uh, that was the Play Edition bass that we stocked. Now let's take a look at the 2021 range which uh, only US Cricket Store has in stock. As of now, I'm not saying we will be the only store to have it, but I'm saying we are the first store to have it in stock. So I'll start off with what impressed me the most is the Chroma series. So I'll take a look, let's take a look at the Chroma series first. So what is different in the Chroma series? Or this is the first time you're actually taking a look at the profile. So let's, uh, let's give you some details on what Chroma series actually is and what has GM is offering through the Chroma, Chroma series for us, right? So first and foremost, what brought my attention to the Chroma series is this particular thing, guys. There is no concaving. It's a convex profile on the back of the bat. This is a limited edition series. And it, this is the same design in, uh, you take any series for that matter, like original 909s, 808s, 606 signature. It's perfectly full there is no wood taken on from the back of the bat and this if you see there's a slight bit of bow in it as well and let's take a look at the grains guys this is the original edition but sorry the limited edition but just see the grains and this is a beautiful decals that they have it's embossed and it's uh, good quality decals both front and on the back of the bat with the name Chroma right there. And this particular series has the standard L555 blade, which is the standard blade length. It is not shorter, shorter blade and longer handle setup. It's the standard blade length. The only slight criticism I have, in my opinion, for the Chroma series is the grip quality that they are offering with the bat. It's basically, it's like a chevron, but uh, it's not that great uh, looking chevron or, uh, you know, what I would not prefer this, but you know, the grip quality with uh, the hexa grip that they are offering with the diamond series and the icon and also this grip that is being offered with the Noir is, uh, is a class apart. But this is specifically where I think GM uh, 
miss the trick probably but it also has a very very thick handle guys and uh, all the cro uh, chroma series is basically still having the full profile still has around 39 to 40 mmh and 62 to 63 mm spine on the limited edition and on the original and as we go down the sizes the the, the edge sizes and the spine sizes are slightly reducing but still the performance and the pickup and so the dead weight on this one this one that i have is basically 2.9.2 but let's see how it picks up okay it's it picks up uh, uh it's definitely lighter i think if you see the profile shape right if you have it has the pronouncedly duck bill toe a spine that is like you know bulged down right here very thick handle and the spine is almost running to the handle not not completely but almost running to the handle and uh, it has a very thick handle again that's like the gm thing i believe and uh, the edges are nicely boned um, let's see how it goes like how it performs so we'll see it with a, a brand new cricket ball now the pickup index on this one is two and it is on the control part like basically not for power hitting as such but it's more of the control part like more like how you play like you know the dabs and finding the gaps that that those type of players would be preferring the chroma file according to gm but not according to me in my opinion but but guys see see this guys this is what gm is offering this is factory prepared um, i think this is going well from the bottom part if you see this is the bottom part of the bat the middle part of the bat the top part of the bat near the decals near the stickers is just flying off limited edition guys 2.9.2 is the weight and it's just brilliant that was the limited edition now we'll see a limited edition from zelos or i should say zelos 2 this is again the first time you're seeing zelos 2 so let me take some time to explain what is this model and how this is different from the other models that gm has first and foremost that bought my uh, like you know that took my attention is that it has a slight bit of concaving you see that just ever so slightly maybe one mil of concaving on the back of the back again it has the uh, duck bill toe feature going on and the spine is pronouncedly uh, bulged at the center part of the back um, and it in this the spine is nicely going into the handle the handle is again on the thicker side and this is actually it's a semi oval feel it, it is not oval com completely like the noir series or the diamond series but it's a semi oval feel and uh, took a, take a look at the grains guys this is again the limited edition bat but just the grains on the front and the back of the bat and the beautiful beautiful decals which is the lemon uh, lime green or yellow or whatever color that you might prefer to call it as right and uh, this is again the standard blade which is l555 blade uh, which is not the uh, shorter blade and the pickup index on the surprising it's not there oh that's weird okay i would see on the next one if it is there on this one okay okay that's weird okay they don't have a pickup index on the zelos 2 but uh, let me give you my index on the pickup for zelos 2 so yeah it, it's a little more uh, little more uh, on the heavier side this is uh, 2.9.7 on the scales and it feels maybe a half an ounce lighter not much uh, but it it's definitely uh, but again the slight criticism guys the, the grip is on the uh, lower quality the chevron is but again one more grip and this would actually be good feel let's see how it goes with the brand new cricket ball but guys see the ping response is never disappointing from gm that's the bottom part of the bat by the way at the middle as a high part okay so let's see how it goes with the, an old cricket ball Okay, so that's uh, that's a Zilos limited edition. We have uh, actually we have uh, 
two limited editions in Zelos 2 model and we have one limited uh, original in the Zelos 2 and uh, so that was uh, that was Zelos 2 and Chroma again for the first time in US uh, the 2021 range before it is before it is released to any other store at US Ricky store you can get your hands on these two exclusive models so hurry up guys before anyone purchases that and being seen on the field uh, why not you purchase the bats from us and then you can uh, flaunt those new models when you get on the field with these new bats right uh, what's next so we have uh, the Noir the GM Noir uh, this is an old uh, this is a model that was there in the last year and this took the entire uh, I mean the GM range to another level uh, basically it was uh, a super hit whenever it launched uh, the, la the last I think a couple of years back in my opinion I think last year they launched uh, Siren uh, if I'm not wrong but uh, this is again the standard G uh, GM Noir shape which is basically having the spine slightly running into the toe and uh, having the edge size at 39 mm and uh, this is the uh, spine is 62 mm but it has a slight bit of concaving just ever so slightly which is maybe half a mil of concaving and very very thick handle uh, this is very thick and very oval uh, at the bottom and uh, it's a rounder shape at the top but guys the feel on this the feel the balance it's I mean it's second to none uh, it, the weight on this is 2.9.2 uh, to be precise but it feels like a 2.8 in my hands and it's that well balanced uh, I can't say enough for the Noir series I'm personally a big fan of Noir series and the uh, Diamond series uh, and I'm a big fan of Chroma series as well that's that's the new launch and I really started to love that uh, but guys this is absolutely fantastic in my opinion again let's see the ping uh, on this series guys uh, I'm just not doing anything much but oh, wow. So the thing with Noir is it also has the slight camber on the on the face. It's not pronouncedly uh, like you know having heavy camber, but it's very slight camber. And you can see that camber when you see at the look at the toe as well. It's a slight bit of camber, and the toe is at an angle in the Noir series as compared to the other series that we have. It's slightly at an angle just to prevent the amount of damage that can happen over the prolonged use of the bat for the series as well so that was the noir and we have the diamond again benjamin stokes ben stokes coming into the picture bs55 uh, the the diamond series from gm and this is the original uh, diamond series again guys it's a beautiful grain structure you can see the pickup index on is on two for uh, the diamond series and it's having the famous uh, ben Stokes structure so the middle is very high if you see the middle is round about here this part is the middle part and you have the spine slightly running into the toe and absolutely full guys there is no concaving whatsoever on the back of the back and this this particular model not the player edition but the lower models like the limited edition the original edition 909s 808 is comes with the L540 blade what is the difference it's just uh, 15 mm smaller blade than the or 1.5 centimeter smaller blade than the standard short length blade so to compare that let me take a noir original and the bench uh, sorry the diamond original you can see there's a slight bit of difference in the blade length right here but if you see the overall length of the bat which is indeed short handle and that's the 540 blade this is the 555 blade right and uh, it has its own benefits it, it it basically has its own benefits like better back speed and uh, you know uh, led less light lighter pickup and at the same time most importantly since the middle is so high on this particular bat now when you actually pick it up now this is actually weighing 2.8.5 or when you pick it up it feels like a 2.7 like seriously guys it's like feather like uh, you know when you go for that expansive shots maybe it's like feather light and it's, it feels like a 2.7 in my hands and let's see how it pings right this is a brand new cricket ball 
that's a bottom part by the way that's a bottom part where there is less meat right that's less meat now this is the middle part guys so the ping is slightly underwhelming in my, in my opinion if you if you compare that with the noir this is slightly underwhelming but still it's right there one more thing that we have observed about gm is that they press the bats for durability they are on the harder press that they are not like the soft press bats uh, they press their bats a little harder so they it will last long for you that's a certainty as i said at the start of the video you always have to be a little patient with gm and help or or wait until this opens up and once this opens up it's actually i would not i'm not kidding but this is actually will the ball will plead uh, or beg your mercy to actually hit it with this particular bat it would be that monstrous once it opens up and i'm not saying this just for the sake of it i'm personally a user of gm i have had, i've had four bats and currently i'm using as i said i'm using the ben stokes player edition zelos version and that's why i'm saying with experience that you know the once it opens up the gm would give you an experience of a lifetime and you know the bowlers would run for, and find places to hide when you when the bat opens up in a gm in your hand so so that's why uh, i trust these bats i trust this bat and i'm personally recommending these bats to you as well so that was the diamond edition in the uh, the original series let's take a look at the next one so we 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 took a look at okay we have something else right we have one of the older bats a uh, older series that gm has ever produced the icon the first time i landed on the californian soil uh, and i played my first cricket match in california i scored a 50 uh, that's my first 50 in california with an gm icon unfortunately the it was a if it was my teammate's bat it broke but you know that bat is really near to me i won't believe i half hit a shot and it went for a six so that's how special gms are to me and uh, i can't recommend them enough and this is one of their longest oldest bats uh, that a gm has produced uh, before moving into sg to a certain extent shane watson used to play with uh, the icon series as well uh, this is the gm icon but the guys this is the traditional shape a pronounced spine the spine is very high and the middle position is around about all this part is the middle position there is a bit of concaving not denying that and the spine is running into the toe the edge size is not that great it's basically 32 33 34 mm uh, on the edge size the spine is 62 63 mm and the weight on this is 28 29 but it picks up very very light you can see that you know the spine is running into the handle the handle is very very thick and uh, you know it's it's round it's not oval shaped but it's very thick handle and uh, that aids the pick up by a huge margin and basically this picks up like a like actually it picks up with very very easy it picks up like a 27 in my hand so let's see how it goes with an cricket ball a new cricket ball see guys this is the this is the benefit of i mean basically partially the benefit of having the spine running into the toe uh, you get response almost everywhere because there is wood backing your shots uh, at the toe as well and uh, guys this is just this is insane so another thing that brought us to gm is like their innovation with the grips last year they bought the hexa grip that i currently the gm icon has and the diamond series has and it is one of the innovation i mean it's 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 a different kind of a grip as you can see on this you have the slightly protrudes on the grip and slight uh, some of them are going inside basically that gives you a different kind of a feeling a comfort feeling in your hands uh for the for the handle and if you see the noir it has the uh the spiral uh grips as well but for this year the chroma and the zeros too i think they have disappointed me to an extent with respect to the grips but grips are secondary right you can just replace the grips with another one probably pop in another one on top of it but um the handle quality guys i can't say all of the gm bats comes with three cork inserts and they are on the stiffer side uh with respect to the handles and uh, but but guys this is this the icon series is 
something classical only for people who are like more on the classical side uh, not for the power dominated people out there uh, if you are someone who slogs and tries to hit the six of every ball just like how glen maxwell is doing right now for kings eleven punjab if you if you are that type of player i would not recommend gm icon uh, i would recommend maybe uh, a diamond series but uh, for uh, the icon it's more of the traditional style who likes to place the balls into the gaps get their runs uh, make the bowlers and the fielders tire and get the runs by hitting it in the gaps icon is for those players and more classy players i would say so that's the icon uh, so what next we have so that was the series that we wanted to cover but um, as i said in gm the good part is that you have some hidden gems uh, which are particularly not visible the reason being that they they produce the bats with the use of the dxm technology or the cnc machines so the clefts are actually graded before even it goes in the machine so sometimes you know the individuals can make mistakes with respect to the clefts they are selecting for the bats so sometimes what happens is a good performing bat can go into the lower series and customers like us who actually want to buy the bats uh, get lucky in getting some uh, like beautiful monsters uh, even good looking or not good looking but better performing ones uh, with respect to what they are offering in that perspective i want to bring to everyone's attention one thing that i have here this is a chroma signature it has very less number of grains it has like uh, the number of grains are 1 2 3 4 5 6 grains that's all and and also has a marbling effect right here and but what impressed me the most is it has a 38 mm edge a 64 mm spine absolutely no concaving guys like absolutely no concaving and it's feather light it's only 2.8 in my hands 2.8 but the pickup the pickup is like a 27 like you know having the duck bill toe uh, having the meat being right here and it's 27 but what impressed me the most is this part see this guys the ping response i can't feel anything in my hands it's just flying off even with the mallet it it goes like a response and it's the signature series guys it's the signature it's not uh, it's not top of the line this is a grade 2 bat and it performs like this that's something else in my hand it has an oval handle very thick oval handle uh, throughout the length of the handle and it's a rounder shape at the top but it has a very thick oval handle and uh, that was the hidden gem that i was talking about and we have more uh, i mean in fact i can go on and on uh, this is something that i found in the harrow series just take a look at the grains on this one just take a look at the grains on this one it's on the back and on the front this is for the harrow series so all the people who are like 5554 <laughs> and still want to play those beautiful shots uh, with an harrow series bat and who are in look or are in uh, search of a harrow series bat this is something else guys this the grain structure is absolutely fantastic but that's not the pickup is it's 27 uh, on the scales right and the series see this guys just see this wow i mean you can't ask for better things uh, from an haro series and that too in the um, haro size sorry and that in the original series right so that was the another thing uh, we have something else as well now take a look at this 808 that we have now this is what gm classifies as the academy c academy size so that's in between the short handle and the haro it's slightly bigger than the short handle and slightly uh, sorry slightly shorter than the short handle and slightly bigger than the haro size and it's probably for like again uh, for individuals who are 5556 5, they can still play with the academy size uh, it is feather light this is 27 on the scales just 27 pick up to 6 let's see the ping guys just g 
GM has to offer to all of us with respect to what they are offering um, and with respect to whatever they have in stock. So we have, uh, as I said at the earlier, we have size 6, size 4, size 5, size uh, 7, we have Harrow, we have uh, Academy, we have Short Handle, we have Players Edition, we have uh, uh, within the sizes, that is 4, 5, we have Original, we have 808s, 909s. So we have a whole lot of bats, we have almost 120 bats that is there in the stock from GM as of now and it's a very very pretty sight when I came uh, unfortunately it took a lot of time to unbox all of these and place it in for the video uh, apologize for the delay but and we'd be updating all of this information into our website over the weekend uh, and you can purchase this pad from our website or you can always always reach out to us for purchasing any of these bats uh, or not only GM but other uh, other bats as well we also got a brand new shipment of uh, blank bats as well this week so that is available for purchase as well so if you have any questions any concerns or regarding or any of our stock if you need anything with respect to the bats that we have in stock please reach out to us via youtube instagram or facebook for that matter and that was it for this live video guys until next time this is jinto signing off from user kit store redefining cricket in us cheers